Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm in such a good mood today because we are going to be doing a very fun a very fun informative video. So do you want to go from this to this? Or do you want to go from this to this? Or do you want to go from this to this then you are in the perfect video so sit tight and keep on watching so for today's video guys we'll be doing a macbook customization video why i decided to do this video was because you know in the corona age that we are in with miss verona around we are very dependent on technology i know for me having a virtual internship and also doing virtual research this summer. I'm always on my laptop every day. So I just feel like it's so important since, you know, most of us are having online classes or a combination of both to just make sure that we are making our laptop as pretty and as fun as and engaging as we can. I have shot a MacBook unboxing video for when I first got this baby. It did really well. It's one of my most popular videos on my channel. So I'm going to put a card up there if you want to go and watch it. And then come back, come back, please. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a personalized screensaver and I'm going to show you how to do it either on your laptop, which will be using the platform Canva, or I'm going to show you how to do it on your phone, which will be using the platform Fonto. So first thing you're going to do is go to your Safari and go to Google and you're going to look up MacBook. Pro 13 inch screen size in pixels. So when you click on this, it tells you that it's 2560 by 1600. So don't forget that. Next, we're gonna open up Canva. Oops. Next, we're gonna open up Canva, hit create a design, then hit custom dimensions, 2560 by 1600. Oops, 1600, create new design. So now you're gonna be prompted to this blank screen where you get to do the magic on. The website we're actually gonna be used is called Unsplash, unsplash.com, that's literally just what it's called. And here they have pictures that you can easily download, but we're not gonna download because it's a hassle, we're just gonna copy and paste. What I would advise to do before you actually start picking your photos is to think of a theme. What do you want it to be? Do you want it to be like, you know, a coffee picnic with some inspirational quotes, or do you just want it to be inspirational quotes it's whatever you decide i am personally very extra and i like to change mine up every month just because i get bored and i'm like Ugh, i want something new so my theme for this month is pink and inspirational so i'm going to be looking for pink inspirational quotes therefore i'm going to go into unsplash and just say pink inspiration look up pink inspiration and as you can see there's already some quotes like breathe live colorfully in pursuit of magic whatever i really like in pursuit of magic so i'm going to just click on it use two fingers click on it hit copy image go back to over here copy paste and you can make it as big as you want as small as you want and just place it somewhere on the screen so you're going to continue to find more photos that are inspirational to you like i said unsplash also already makes it super easy you can just even like click wallpaper or you can even just go back to you know your home page and look at travel stuff if you're really into traveling and you want to make your collage about traveling or if you're really into technology there's that so you can make this as big as you want just continue this process until it looks like ta-da until it looks like so so once you continue this process this is what it should end up looking at depending on what your theme is so i'm just making it bigger so you guys can see it I'm going to hit download, PNG is suggested, so it's going to be like preparing your design. Ooh. There it is, isn't she cute? So you're going to use two fingers again, click on it, hit set as desktop picture. Boom! Y'all can't tell me that's not fire. Like in comparison to what we saw before, cute before, now cute after, isn't this so cute? All right, you guys, so now we're going to go into the app Fonto. You'll be directed to a screen that looks just like this. Now on the bottom middle, you're going to hit that camera button, hit plain images, 
the first one color white apply and then you're going to go to size custom size you're going to do 2560 by 1600 remember the macbook dimensions hit use so now you're on this page so now you're going to the bottom left add image and then you're going to go to wherever folder your photos are mine are in the album called collage hit the first one or whichever one you want and then you're going to hit done so now you can move it around you can readjust the size it really just depends on you it's whatever you want so i'm just going to position it over there for right now so now we are basically just repeating this process i would recommend putting all the photos you want in the collage into one album so it just makes it easier to, for you to find what photos you're looking for And yeah, so now I'm just resizing, readjusting however I want it to look like. Okay, so now important part, you're going to save it. So you're going to hit that bottom right button. It'll direct you to this page and then hit Joy's MacBook Pro. I'm just going to airdrop it because it just makes it so much more easier. So it's sending, sent, and then you're basically done. How easy was that, guys? So what you're going to do is just find wherever you saved it again and then hit set as a desktop picture and then boom this is so cute it's like a collage of me and my friends so it's really whatever you want you guys but i'm gonna go back to the pink because i do prefer the pink but you can do once again whatever you want so i'm gonna show you how to use apple stickies okay so just go to launch pad and search for stickies and there it is right there and i have mine saved to my kept in my dock so you're gonna hit file you're gonna hit new note and then drag it down if you pick color you can pick whatever color you want in this case i want purple i'm gonna say youtube video so what i want to do first of all is i want to make this smaller you can adjust it to whatever size you want and i'm gonna click on it and i'm gonna hit window and i'm gonna hit translucent and there you go so it's not like you know it's like you do have some stickies but it's nothing too crazy and like overtaking the screen because you still want to see your pretty screensaver and then something really cool too is if you want to adjust your night screen like you want it to be more yellow or less yellow you can go into displays Go to night shift and then you can make it as yellow as you want but for right now i just kind of have it in the middle another front end stuff that's really cool is if you go to general and your system preferences you can pick your accent color i currently have it on pink because i told you guys my theme is pink but you can make it red orange green like it's such a mini thing but you really start to notice it in everything so i just have it as um pink because my theme for this month is pink What's your appearance up here? I have my thing on dark mode, which is why this is on dark mode. Everything is dark, but you can make it light. But I feel like light is just too bright for me. Like, is it just me? But I feel like it's like overwhelmingly bright. So I just like a nice dark chill mode. So those are just some cute front end stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So first of all, let's get a new folder up here. Then we're going to go to Safari and just look up Star PNG. So I'm going to look up Star PNG. Hit free download PNG. It depends on what website you are. So I'm going to pop that open. So I'm going to escape out of my Safari. What you're going to do is you're going to click on it and you're going to say Control A. So it copies the whole thing. Control C to copy and I'm going to use two fingers click on it hit get info and then click on this up here control B and there you go I have a star folder so isn't this so cute you guys so I feel like this just makes like the whole experience so much more fun but as you can see now my folders are like you know unique customizing your touch bar You're going to hit view and you're going to hit customize touch bar. So I actually need to show you guys this on the screen. 
So what you're gonna do is you can literally drag stuff. Let's say you wanna do, you tap, drag it, pop it down. So easy, so simple. Next thing I'm gonna show you guys really quickly is how to customize your terminal. Is when I click on terminal, this is the this is the default. It's kind of like this ugly black and white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit on terminal, then I'm gonna hit preferences. And as you can see, you can literally, if you double click on it, you can see a preview. Like, isn't this so cute? I think the grass is so cute. Fan page, I feel like it's just so cute because I do my research in here. And in order to make this my default, I'm gonna click on default right here when that's on. So now if you guys see when I click on terminal, I get the default I want. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, I have an active giveaway still for a pair of AirPods. I'm going to be stopping it as soon as I hit 300 subscribers. So check out the video that I'm gonna put right up there. Just hit that card and it'll take you to the video. But yeah, that's about it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time on my channel. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>